Hello there and welcome back to the F1 2019 career mode. We're going on a silver stun today. Let's give you a look at the emails. Ooh, developments completed. It's only one and it was guaranteed because it failed last week. Look at the weather forecast. Looks like uh, all dry for the race once again. So we'll go ahead and give you a look at the development. So with that engine power upgrade that puts us up in a third. Of course, you guys know we've got an ultimate upgrade going as well that uh, it's not going to exactly get us anywhere, but it'll get us closer to Mercedes. And of course, Williams. P1 in development right now. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah, there's the uh, there's our upgrade right there. Powertrain, and it is a major powertrain upgrade. Remember when we were first? I remember. Now we're fourth with that major powertrain upgrade. Good lord. Mercedes, Williams, Red Bull, all leapfrogged us. Uh, look at our arrow. Jeez. We're falling behind. <laughs> we're fifth in arrow. And then chassis. Wow, we'll be first here in a minute. But at least you can see that work we've put into the chassis is starting to pay off. We will be first once we get this in. It'll take another, probably at least two weeks, probably three. But uh, by then, I'm sure everybody will be caught up. But uh, yes, yeah, so we'll have to keep on working on the arrow and uh, powertrain as well. I don't like being fifth in powertrain or fourth in powertrain. I don't, I don't like that. So look at the updated point standings. So we finished second last week, but we still lost points. It's now only four points going off into Silverstone. So let's give you a look at it here. This is our season so far. We're getting close to the halfway point. We went on string four straight podiums. We had a seventh in France with a bad strategy, and then, yeah, second in Austria, one of my favorite checks. Then we go into Silverstone. I mean, we have not lost in our F1 career. I don't know if that's going to stay like that, but, um, yeah, it should be pretty fun. I'm all right there. Of course, that one was in the rain, and at that time, we hadn't got that AI patch, so the AI were kind of slow in the rain, so I ended up winning it, but... As far as we know, it's going to be dry, so we're just going to try our best. But a look at the rest of the standings. So Botas is still very much alive, and so is Weber. He's still a bit out of it at this point, but Williams is number one in, in performance, so he could string in a bunch of races and gain a lot of points. And that's really about it. Kimi actually fell back uh, to sixth. He was P5, so he should hopefully get back there. And uh, I don't know. We're slipping out of the Constructors' Championship, man. Kimi has uh, actually been kind of disappointing this season. We'll see if um, Alfa Romeo actually shakes it up and gives us a new teammate. Hopefully not. Honestly, I love Kimi. I, hopefully he does well. But uh, if somebody's going to come in here and, and start challenging me for race wins, and I'd be cool with that too. But look at the rest of it there. Only three guys who have not scored points yet so far this season. Two of them, the McLarens and Giovinazzi and the Renault car. So with that, I'll meet you guys at the starting grid. Oh, thank you very much. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. <sighs> Tell us about qualifying. Lucas Fuck was you. Top form today, wasn't he? You really? I'm gonna qualify pole, and you're gonna ask me about Lucas Weber? Are you like? Are you serious right now? Lucas Weber was on top form today. Obviously not, because he's not starting on pole. Fuck yourself. How does it feel to be on? Oh the pole? yeah. F2 yeah. Beside you. I don't give a shit. We raced for like three races. I hardly even know. But it's amazing. I want to thank my team for all their hard work. Suck that ass. Well, thanks anyway. Yeah, thanks. The pain of parting is nothing to the joy of meeting again. And how joyous indeed it is to be back at Silverstone once more for the British Grand Prix. The queues to get in this morning extended miles back down the A43, such as the enthusiasm for Formula One in this country. With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And it's great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes.
Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Herbert lines up on pole position and starting alongside is Lucas Faber. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, and Gasly, Albon, Raikkonen, Kvyat, and Charles Leclerc, Butler, Verstappen, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Perez, Holkenberg, Stroll, Kevin Magnussen, and Roman Grosjean. Norris and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. First career pole. I don't know how I did it, but I, um, I actually had a really great lap, and it seems like the setup's really good. I even had to shit during that lap, too. I won't lie to you. 20 minutes later, I've had my shit. I'm ready to go. So look at the race strategy for today. One stopper. Softs to the mediums. Hopefully, that is a race-winning strategy. Again, I think our race pace is really strong. Lewis Hamilton starting fourth, which is, uh, you know, he's the closest to us in the championship battle. Only four points behind. So if we could win the race and him finish, like, fourth or maybe fifth if Kimmy gets up through there, that'd be great. But I expect him to probably end up on the podium. But uh, at least this way, for the first time ever, this kind of sets me up to control my own destiny here. So hopefully we can win the damn thing and open the point seed back up. But it's also weird because uh, it always takes me a little while to kind of get in rhythm. And it always really helps me when I ride behind somebody. That's, I mean, I always ride behind somebody. It's the first time I, I get to start up here. That's another thing. My, my standing starts are awful, so there's a good chance I lose the lead by turn one. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully this uh, doesn't go horribly. Oh, look at that start. Oh, that was a beautiful start. I actually got through the gears good. I don't know how I did that. I'm going to have to write that down and examine that one. I don't know what the hell I just did, but it felt professional. It really did. Oh, God, that thing's slippery there. Man, Weber is just so damn fast. No, uh-uh. Yeah, hey, I want to see you take it outside there. I'm gonna get a penalty for that. No, I ain't. Okay, thank you, game. I ain't gave, giving up the lead this early. If I start on pole, it's gonna take me a second to get get in a little bit of rhythm here. But uh -uh, I ain't doing that shit. Uh uh. All right, how about first lap? Fastest time. Okay. It's gonna be fun when DRS comes along. Weber's gonna go right damn by me. Look at Botas, he's trying to make a move. I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm the fastest car, but we about to find out. If I could just get out of that draft and get out of that sucking range, I'd like to see what I could do. But look at it, just, oh man, he's so much faster on the straightaways. Good lord. Yeah, Lucas Weber, fast lap. If you think you can get me here, good luck. I don't think so. Here we go. No, I'm blocking. Oh. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He, so I blocked, and he checked up and still got a run almost back by me. No, nah, it's not going to be that easy. Yeah, if you want an exciting F1 race, you're going to want me on pole. That's for sure. Oh, shit. There's a Mercedes move right there. Boat task. Yeah, you got by Weber. Oh. I don't know, somehow I'm, I'm less worried about Botas than I am Weber. Never thought I'd say that before, like ever. Oh, here he comes. I'll tell you, man, it's all in that draft. They just, they're just mowing me over now. Of course, the DRS obviously helps, but this is going to be the entire damn race, man. I'm never going to be able to pull, pull away. Here we go. Oh yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna have to have some bigger balls than that, man. You're gonna have to put that thing in there if you wanna get by. There you go, I'll take that fast as lap back. Thank you very much. Settle in a little bit. Got another deal. Well at this point I've used up all my ERS. So now I just gotta gotta ride. At least we pulled away from everybody else. So if I do lose the lead, I won't get freight train, but I don't know, man. It's so frustrating because like it it almost doesn't even matter if I'm faster than Botas. I either have to be way faster than him, 
Or he's gonna be way slower than me. It's not like some some from John Madden, but yeah, I mean the DRS man, it's so annoying. Like it drafts one thing, the DRS man, oh that shit's okay, annoying. But for the record, DRS is only annoying when uh, I'm being chased. It's great when I'm trying to catch somebody. They're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Oh joy. I'm cool with that. Put me on some tires, just let me ride the whole rest of the way. Of course, we don't know what these other guys are going to do. But at least it's a one-stopper. we got to worry about their two-stop bullshit. I mean, if everybody else wants to try, that's cool. This is where Botas, too. Look at that. This is DRS zone, man. Fucking jammed it off in there. Oh, is this what we're doing? Okay. You better watch that. Better watch that rear tire, buddy. You ain't clear yet. That's another thing, man. This place, it's so fast, it's hard to hard to recover that ERS, so. I haven't used it in a while now, and it's uh Ooh, I haven't got much of it back. This lap, give us the best right lap on. You can. I'm actually starting to pull away from Botas too, which is good. And he didn't hit the pit road that time, so. Worst comes to worst, the gap on the car behind by five tenths we'll come at the same time, which is cool, if you want to do that. Yeah, I'm starting to, starting to lose these rear tires a little bit. It's starting to get a little, the wiggly, a little, uh, I don't know what to call it, goopy. Alrighty, well, here we come. Looks like it's not coming. Alright, ooh, boy. I don't know if they changed, they recently changed that, right? I don't feel like the commitment line was that far up. I feel like it was further down here somewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, maybe there. There's the line. I don't know. Feels a little early. But, um, looks like I'm the only one who came in. That might be good. Also, it might be really bad. 2.15. Could have been faster. Every tenth matters, man. Every tenth matters. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Alrighty, well, yep, to the end we go. Fun. I was gonna try to take it easy. I always like coming in a little early. Um, for one, you know, just to hopefully open up the gap a little bit. For two, just a couple laps. Without any pressure, man. It's like to run some hot laps. There you go. Oh, man, a whole huge jumble of cars coming in. All right, we're sitting good then if we came by a full lap earlier than all these guys. There's a Mercedes car about ready to come out. I don't know which one that is. It's Botas. Hey, Botas. Oh, boy. Into the traffic we go. We might be able to lose him here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Juvenile nice probably should have gave me a little room, too, but he probably didn't see me coming. However, Norris saw me coming. Yeah, shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. We're all right. Yeah, that's gonna take us around the outside. Gotta go. Don't want to see Botas. Oh man, look at that time I gained on Grosjean right there. Hello. Yeah, you better give this one to me, buddy. That's a, whew, that's a tough spot. You playing chicken with somebody going off in there? Look at that time. That's why I pushed it. Look at that time we put on boat's ass, man. That's why you push it. Sorry to whoever I bounced into. It's a Haas car, I don't even know. It was, it was well worth the, the risk. Would have been good if I got wing damage, but I didn't hit him really too hard. He just didn't give me any room, and I kind of sideswiped him. That, and it was a pretty low speed section of the track anyway, so. Stroll is stopping now. I don't give a shit. Who fast is lap? Hell yeah. Oh. Another one for Ricardo. Poor McLaren, man. Good lord. Now, here's the remainder of F. Well, we're getting down to it. And uh, taking this opportunity to go ahead and save some of my ERS and save up a little bit of fuel because I was kind of running out so but um, I've been running really good and I really haven't given much I really haven't given up any time saving so 
I think we're, I think I'll be okay. I'm just, I was saving a little bit extra just in case, but um, honestly, all of us are pretty much running the same damn time. We're all right there, running the same lap time. Boat task chipped in by about a tenth, but it's been right there around three seconds. So we don't have many laps left. So we're sitting good, man. We're sitting really good. And my DRS broke. There is a fault to the DRS. You won't be able to open the rear wing. We're working on a fix. Stay out. We're leading our teammate by 17.4 seconds. How the fuck does something just randomly stop working? I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. I haven't used my DRS once because I've been out front the whole damn race. How does it go bad just all of a sudden? Oh, there we go. Uh. By half a second. Yeah, we still got some in this thing. That's right. How you feel about a boat dance? Don't you catch me? Nah. That was a hell of a lot, man. I turned it up there just uh, just to make sure I halted the because he started reeling me in a little bit. So hold my beer, boat Taz, man. Open that thing up for a lap. Holy damn. I uh, there's like a tire wear. Damn. I mean, I know I guess the track's rubbering up and everything, but them tires pretty old. Won't lie. And rear tires, left rear 43%. Surprise, she had it in it. As long as Botas holds on and finishes second instead of third. But either way, it's it's still not good. I'd rather not see Mercedes cars behind me. I'd rather see my teammate. Speaking of my teammate, I haven't heard about him. Where the, where the um, uh, teammate status, there it is. Straight away. Well, that sucks. Alrighty, well, here we go. With a white flag, you know it's something. That last section there, uh, for whatever reason, I don't slip. So, I mean, uh, oh, you dickhead, Lewis Hamilton. Damn it. I'm not gonna be able to beat that. I don't even know what he ran. I ain't gonna be able to beat it though. I'll turn it up for the last lap though. Damn it. But I ain't been slipping in that last section. There's no way in hell I'm gonna beat that. Not with these tires. What a great run, damn it. What that, oh, of course Hamilton. They're they're battling back there. Damn it, come on, Botas. Damn, team orders bullshit. Yeah, I'm just gonna send it. That's right, that's right, make my money right here. Mmm, that's a fun section right there. The whoop de doops. I'm about to roll. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Purple. Hold on. Get through this last section right there. A good corner. Really gonna have to send it. Okay, don't hit the curb. Ah, uh, fucked it. Ah, uh, might not be enough. I didn't get through there very good. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Great <laughs> tell me. You've done everything we wanted today. That's a W, hell yeah! I'm more upset I didn't get the fucking fastest lap. Lewis Hamilton just had to come. Oh, just had to come in there and steal it. Second to last lap. I stepped on it. I don't know if I got it. I probably didn't, but it was still a pretty good lap. I think I set my fastest lap. Probably wasn't faster than him because he had DRS and all that shit, but... Eat my dick, Mercedes! Where y'all at? That's what I thought. Fastest lap all you want. Well, there you have it, man. From first... The first. Oh, you kidding me? Look at that fastest lap, man. By two hundredths of a second. That's that was difference. That last little sector, man. That ah, oh. I stink, man. That one extra point, you never know. It could. I mean, hey, at least Botas, he ended up coming home P two. So that's a, a couple extra points. Even though Lewis Hamilton got the fastest, um, I'll take that. We'll extend our point lead. I do. Let me tell you something. That race, that race went by really fast. First, because I was really fast. But, um, yeah, I, let me tell you, I always like a track a lot more when I have a great setup. That setup was really great. I don't know if I like Silverstone that much, but for whatever reason, I just hit my marks the entire race. And I hit them really, really well. I was really fast. Other than, like, the straight line speed, 
once I got through those couple of slower cars uh, coming out the first or the, the only pit stop, uh, and once I got boat test, as long as I didn't have anybody in my DRS, I was faster. I knew that. I know I'd probably be faster. That's just usually how it goes with the DRS draft. I'm excited, man. That was a. It's a shame, like. I can't stand this game because it's so it's it's something so small that it doesn't do and it pisses me off. The next time, season three, if I come back here and do the same race, the same setup I just used, it'll just default back to the same default setup. It doesn't save. They have the option to save setups, but like I never even know if it's worth a shit until I run the whole race, and then there's no way to save it at this point. So by the time I run this, probably a month from now, season three, it won't have that same setup. So hopefully I figure it out again, but. That was a great car, man. It handled so damn good. I was I was actually genuinely surprised at how good it was. So, uh, Vettel P4, Albon fifth for Stappen. Kimmy coming home seventh. I really, man, we gotta get Kimmy running better. Hopefully, um, I got a lot of resource points. Hopefully, so I'm really proud of that. Though that's a great run, great run for the championship. Uh, Gasly last one in on points, and a look at the rest of it. Only one DNF, and it was Ricardo. Weber actually already fell to 11th. I don't know what the hell happened to him. If he got damaged, because I know he got ran over by the Mercedes at some point, and uh, he just kind of went back after that, so. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Mm -hmm. Was there really any competition for you today? Uh, obviously not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, go, um, go power unit. Woo, we need some of that. Do you think your rival learned from his battle with you? What kind of question is that? Y'all watched the video? Did you see Kimmy? I sure shit didn't. What the damn? I think you learned that it's not easy to go up against someone like me. Or the other five drivers, six drivers in front of him. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Let me see him re- Oh, yeah. 600 resource point bonus. Don't mind if I do. Oh, yeah. Look at that shit, dude. Almost maxing out to be a veteran in season two. How about that? Just wanted to say oh my lord! Oh my lord! We look at those resource points. Shut up, Jeff. Let me buy some stuff. All right, so we're gonna focus on aerodynamics or powertrain because we need both of them. We just got this in. Ooh. Oh, you know what? We could do both. Let's get another engine power upgrade because we can. That's gonna put us above two. Williams and Red Bull put us back up to P2. And then aerodynamics. Uh, ooh, yeah. How about a major drag upgrade? Sounds good to me. Anything we can do to get our straight line speed better, because it uh, wasn't very impressive this week. But, um, ooh, there you go. Look at that. With those two upgrades, those three upgrades coming. Ultimate upgrade. All right, and we're getting close to Williams. That's the thing, though. Williams isn't even that good. Apparently, they have the best vehicle performance, but, like, like Lucas Weber's good. Albon sure shit ain't. That's the thing. Weber ain't even that good. He's had, like, one win this season. I mean, let's see. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the championship standings. So, yeah, I mean, he's falling back. I mean, he finished 11th. Again, I think he well, had some wing damage or something that set him back. But, um, yeah, there you have it. Look at that, man. Opened up the gap a little bit more on Lewis Hamilton. Valtteri Bottas still hanging on. Weber might be out of it at this point. That was a huge that was a huge uh, loss for him this week. So, uh, Kimmy, I thought he might get by Albon. He didn't even beat him, so he fell back a little bit further. And uh, I think it's fair to say uh, Mercedes is probably likely going to be your Constructors' Championship winners again. So I just I, – I mean, unless something miraculous happens, we get a couple Mercedes DNFs, that, it's not happening. So look at the rest of it down here. Grosjean, last one with a point. And uh, still Giovinazzi, Norris, Ricardo, who have not scored. So there you have it, going off into Germany. Our third win of the season – we got a shitload of upgrades on the way in the next uh, at least three weeks. I'm excited, man. Things are looking up, and especially since we've got some great tracks coming up. The Spa, Monza, Singapore, Sochi. So, hope you guys enjoyed, man. I really appreciate y'all for watching, as always. We'll see y'all in the next video.